Hi students, Professor Mijin here. Let's discuss the instrumental variable solution to the classical errors and variables problem. Consider the model y equals beta naught plus beta 1 times x1 star plus beta 2 times x2 plus u, where x1 star is a variable of interest that is not observed. Let x1 be, a, be an observed measure of x1 star and x1 be a measured with error such that x1 is equal to x1 star plus e1 where e1 is the measurement error. If x1 and e1 are correlated, so the covariance between x1 and e1 is not equal to 0, and we use x1 in place of x1 star, then OLS is biased and inconsistent. Recall that we can write y equals beta naught plus beta 1 x1 where we use x1 in the place of x1 star plus beta 2 x2 plus u minus beta 1 e1 If we have all other assumptions met, that is, u is uncorrelated with x1, x2, x1 star, e1 is uncorrelated with x1 star and x2, we can instrument for x1 to help us with the endogeneity of x1, right? Because in this expression, x1 is correlated with the error term, and we can fix that by instrumenting for x1. The instrument must satisfy the usual assumptions. So we'll look for an instrument. We want an instrument Z1 that satisfies the following. Number one. Z1 is relevant for X1, so the covariance between Z1 and X1 is not equal to 0. Number 2, Z1 is excluded from the structural equation and we can think about the coefficient on z1 being 0 if we included z1 in that equation so this is the relevant assumption this is the exclusion assumption and number 3 Z1 is uncorrelated with both U1 and 
E1. This is our exogenous assumption. So if we can find an instrument that satisfies these assumptions, then we can instrument for the endogenous mismeasured variable x1. Now what might an instrument such as this be? One possibility is to obtain a second measurement. So we want a second measurement of x1 star where z1 equals x1 star plus a1. It will be natural to assume that z1 is uncorrelated with u because it is x1 star that matters for y1, not z1. And two, we must also assume that a1 and e1 are uncorrelated. So the way that measurement error occurs in z1 should be unrelated to the way that measurement occurs in x1. And it's often possible to obtain two measurements on a variable. One example could be an employer and employee reported salary information. So you have the annual salary as reported by the employer and annual salary as reported by the employee. Both might be reported with error. Um, however, you have two sources and sources by which the measurement error is unrelated. Another example is satellite and ground level metrics. You can use satellites to determine the heights of waves. You can also use buoys to determine the heights of waves. And the measurement error in the heights of waves as determined by buoys is unrelated to the measurement error in the height of waves as determined by satellites. Interestingly, this approach will extend equivalently to the use of proxy variables as mismeasured forms of the true attribute. That's it for the IV solution to errors in variables. Stay tuned to the next video. We will talk about weak instruments.